Now the next pair of surahs and the last of these ten. These two surahs concern the family life of the Mu'minin believers. And first of all, it must be noted that this family life and family laws are so important in the eyes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that nothing has been discussed in the Qur'an in that much detail in which the family laws are given in the Qur'an. Full five sections of Surah Al-Baqarah. Then you have in Surah Ahzab, in Surah Al-Nisa, Surah Al-Nur, family laws. Now regarding this family life, there can be two extremes. One extreme is that the husband and the wife, they are not going well with each other. There are some disputes. So the extreme will be talaq. But what are the rules of talaq? What are the etiquettes of talaq? This is the subject of Surah Al-Talaq. The other is extreme love. Love between the spouses is something which is required, it must be there, but to an extent, not to the extent that it disturbs the boundaries of Allah's Sharia. So that extreme discussed in Surah al and both attached together here, and they become a very beautiful pair. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, Ya Ayyuh nabi O Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Iza talaqtumun nisa, when you divorce your women, but here the address is to Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he never divorced any wife, but actually the address is to the Muslims through Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. If, if you die, die, divorce your women, your wives, fatallikuhunna li'iddatihinna, this divorcing should be according to the prescribed timings. And then keep the count of the waiting period. After the divorce, there is a period in which that woman cannot marry anybody else. Waiting period. Idda. Wattakullah, Rabbakum. And have fear of Allah, who is your Lord. La tukhrijuhunna bin buyutihunna. Don't expel them from their houses. During this waiting period, the wife should remain in the house of the husband, not go out. Wala And they themselves are also not allowed to go out. Illa yatina bifahishatin mubayyana. Except the extreme condition that they might have committed some extreme indecency and that is adultery. That is an exception. Atilka hududullah, these are the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. وَمَنْ يَتَعَبْدَ هُدُودَ اللَّهِ فَقَدْ ظَلَمَ نَفْسَهِ And whosoever crosses over the boundaries of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, so he has done wrong to his, himself. لَا تَدْرِي لَعَلَّ اللَّهُ يُهْدِ سُبَادَ أَمْرَا And you know not that Allah may cause there after something new thing to take place. Maybe when during that iddat, that waiting period, the wife is in the same house, maybe you feel inclined towards her. Make, maybe you take your talaq back. So let her be there, not turn them out. Allah wants that when the marriage is there, it's best is that it should continue. Only in extreme conditions, where, you know, they become absolutely incompatible, then there is separation. So if they remain close, maybe, then the, the, the conditions of the, the feelings of a man can change. Faiza balagna ajalahunna, when they have completed their period, time period of waiting, famsehuhunna bimarufin or farekuhunna bimaruf. So now either you, Keep them with you. You take your talaq back, but it should be in a respectable way. How far it could not get separated, be maruf, but this should also be in a very respectable way. Wash Hindu Zawai Adlim Minkum, and you call to witness two 
mend of equity from among yourselves. Zal, baqimu shahadat Allah and set up the testimony for Allah Subhanahu wa Taala. Zalikum yu'azu bihi man kana yu'minu billahi wal yawmil akhir. By that is exhorted he who believes in Allah in the last day. وَمَنْ يَتَّقِ اللَّهِ يَجَلْ لَهُ بَخْرَجَا And whosoever has fear of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will open a way out for him. وَيَرْزُقْهُ مِنْ هَسُ لَا يَحْتَصِمْ And he provides them with sustenance from where he expects not. وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّرَ لَلَّهِ And whosoever have trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ He is all sufficient for him. إِنَّ اللَّهَ بَعَلِهُ عَمْرِهِ Verily, Allah Ta'ala attains His purpose. فَجْعَلَ اللَّهُ لِكُلِّ شَيْنِ قَدْرَى Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has appointed a mayor for everything. وَلَّا يَسْنَ مِنَ الْمَحِيِّ مِنْ نِسَائِكُمْ As for those women among you who have despaired of menstruation, who have entered the menu pass, no periods now coming. إِنِ ارْتَبْتُمْ If you are in doubt, فَإِدَّتُهُنَّ سَلَاسَةُ أَشْهُرٍ And their waiting period is three months. وَاللَّهِ لَمْ يَحِزْنَا Also those, maybe the marriage was in a very young age and the girl was still not menstruating. وَاللَّهِ لَمْ يَحِزْنَا For them also, three months. وَأُولَاتَ الْأَحْمَالِ As for those who are pregnant, أَجَلُهُنَّ يَزَعْنَا حَمْلَهُنَّ For them the waiting period is when they deliver their load or their burden. So, if one woman is divorced today and a month later she was pregnant and she delivers a child, now Idda finished. She can marry another man now. And whosoever fears Allah, Allah Sa'ala will Produce ease in his affairs. Zalika Amrullah. This is the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anzalahu ilaykum. He has sent down on you. Waman yattaqillaha yukaffir anhu sayyatihi. Whosoever fears Allah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will expunge from his record his shortcomings. Wa yozim lahu ajra. And he will magnify for him his reward. Askani unna min haysu sakantum min vajde. Min vajde kum. You lodge them during that waiting period where they have to stay at your house. Lodge them where you are lodging. Not that you are living in a big house and you know in a servant quarter you say go there for this, this waiting period. No. Respectably. In Vujdikum, according to your means. And do not hurt them and make life miserable for them so that they leave your home themselves. And if they are pregnant, so go on spending on them till that time that they deliver their child. If they are ready to settle for you, فَاتُوهُنَّ وَجُورَهُنَّ in that case, you have to pay them the wages. And you should decide matters amongst you by mutual consultation. And if you have become very hard on each other, you can't agree. Then some other woman should suckle her, the child, not the mother. Let the man of abundance expend out of his abundance. وَمَنْ قُدِرَ عَلَيْهِ رِزْقُهُ فَلْيُنْفِقْ مِمَا عَتَاهُ اللَّهِ And whosoever whose provision is restricted, let him spend out of what Allah has given him. لَا يُكَلِّفُ اللَّهُ نَفْسًا إِلَّا مَا عَتَاهَا Allah does not hold any soul responsible, save for what He has given it. سَيَجَعَلُ اللَّهُ بَعَدَ عُسْلٍ يُسْرًا Verily, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give them the ease after hardship. وَقَائِمِ الْقَرِيَةٍ عَتَتَ نَمْرِ رَبِّهَا And how many townships have passed who revolted against the command of their Lord وَرُسُولِهِ and His messengers 
فحاسب ناہا حساب شدیدہ سو وی کال ڈٹ ٹو سویر اکاؤنٹ وعذب ناہا عذاب النکرہ اینڈ چسٹائز ڈٹ ویڈ ہوریبل چسٹائزمنٹ فضاقت و بالا امرہا سو ای تیسٹڈ دی مسچیف ایٹس کنڈکٹ اینڈ دی اینڈ آف ایٹس افیر واس وکان آقبت و امرہا خسرہ لاس اینڈ دسٹرکشن عبد اللہ لہم عذابا شدیدا اللہ has prepared for them a severe torment and chastisement فَتَّقُ اللَّهَ يَا عُلِ الْأَلْبَابِ So fear Allah, O men of understanding الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا That is those who believe قَدْ أَنزَلَ اللَّهُ إِلَيْكُمْ ذِكْرَا Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has indeed sent down to you a reminding and admonition And what is that reminding and admonition? رَسُولًا يَقْلُوا عَلَيْكُمْ آيَاتِ اللَّهِ A messenger reciting unto you the illuminating revelations of Allah, آيَات اللَّهِ مُبَيِّنَاتٍ لِيُخْرِجَ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعَمِلِ الصَّالِحَاتِ So that he should take out those who believe and do good deeds مِنَ الظُّلُمَاتِ إِلَى النُّورِ Take them out from the depths and shades of darkness into the light. وَيَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ وَيَعْمَلْ صَالِحًا Whosoever believes in Allah and does good deeds يُدْخِلْهُ جَنَّاتِ تَرِدِ مِنْ تَعْتِ إِلَى النَّارِ He will make them enter those gardens underneath which rivers will be flowing. خَالِدِينَ فِيهَا أَبَدَا They will remain in them, abide there forever, forever. قَدْ أَحْسَلَ اللَّهُ لَهُ رِزْقَا Allah has made very good provision for him. اللَّهُ الَّذِي خَلَقَ سَبْعَ شَمَاوَاتِ Now this ayah is from amongst the ayat al-mutashabihat. We can't understand exact connotation of this ayah up till now. اللہ اللہ خلق سبع سماوات اللہ is he who has created seven heavens ومن الارض مثلہن and of the earth they are like seven earths this is the literal translation but what it mean we don't know up till now we don't know maybe at some later stage this reality also appears and it should appear it shall appear inshallah يَتَنَزَلْ عَمْرُ بَيْنَهُنَّ Between them, among them, the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down. لِتَعْلَمُوا أَنَّ اللَّهَ لَا كُلِّ شَيْءٍ قَدِيرٍ So that you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is powerful over everything. وَأَنَّ اللَّهَ قَدْ أَحَاتَ بِكُلِّ شَيْءٍ عِلْمًا And that Allah has encompassed everything in His knowledge. 